Construction of a sex classroom block at Dodipapase in the OT region took 18 months instead of the scheduled six months to complete due to the refusal by residents to volunteer for communal labor. Peter Kwao Adato reports the development has left pupils of ARSDA basic schools under life-threatening conditions. The Dodipapase ARSDA Basic School, like many basic educational institutions in the countryside, has been without decent infrastructure for many decades. In the late 1990s, one of the structures collapsed, killing at least seven pupils and injured many others, leaving the children in structures like these. There are sad memories of tears shared in the school's resilient efforts to cope with infrastructure, challenges all these years. We all recount how a school building collapsed, claiming the lives of innocent pupils in this very school. TV3 reported on the infrastructural challenges in the school a few years ago, but it was not until in 2018 that a benevolent organization, Pencil of Promise, responded to the needs of the school. Per the policy of the benefactor, 20% of the total cost of the project must be borne by the district assembly through the provisioning of sand, chipping, water and communal labour by the community. But the KJB district assembly declined the obligation, compelling an individual through whose approach the NGO came to take up the responsibility. The community also refused to assist the contractors with labor. The project, which was originally scheduled for six months, took 18 months to complete. We are concerned about the way these days when it comes to communal labor, we react to it. The community must own their primary schools now. And our president is free education now. So parents should not even come and work to build a school. So I'm just appealing to the people of Dodi Papasi that when it comes to education, we don't have NDC, we don't have MPP. Every speaker at the handing over ceremony condemned the development. The agreement and the arrangement was the community is going to do the labor work. <laughs> Whilst pencil of promise provide the necessary material and the technical direction. At a point in time, it was left with just a few hands, including the church, ARS. I want to say a very big shame. And it is sad that everybody keeps hanging on the community, the community. I think today, uh, the community has recognized that they don't want a role to play, and they will play no role in subsequent projects. So, Professor Heto need to even bring in people right down from the door down to this community to take up that community part. That is a major thing that has set up this project. Gilbert Zah is an assistant to the local benefactor, Professor John Bright Aheto. People said the community must inculcate all this into themselves. They must come together, unite, take educational matters as one of the paramount issues in their community. This will eradicate any kind of diseases that they may have in their community. The disability-friendly two, three-unit classroom blocks were connected with electricity and furnished with desks. 